Okay, guys, as we go along, I want to show you some um, uh, some more advanced techniques. Today, we're going to be looking at how to make a uh, spiral staircase. So, for instance, we start with a helix. There it is. We place it into the uh, um, perspective view, and then we're going to go to an elevation. We're going to shift tab and select the first uh, uh, level where we want to get to. Um, as options, I'm choosing a um, one turn only and two uh, meters of diameter. Uh, as a starting point for our helix, we just want to use um, basically this side overlooking these windows. Yeah. So we have our own helix. Now to create a set of uh, stairs that go up, we need to create first of all the first step. So let's just say we want to go point 0.2 up and about I don't know, I think let me just deactivate the smart truck and point 0.3 in depth. So I now select this curve and I say extrude and then we'll make it minus 2.2 let's say. Okay, I flip this edge and I'll make it transparent because I don't like to look at it. Yeah, there it is. Now, one way we can uh, we can create a spiral staircase is just to click on the element and say array curve, you can see it up here, so enter, select path curve, we'll select this one, and distance between the items, we should actually take a look at it, 0 0.35, I think it's a little bit too little, 0 0.38, uh, and road like. So we click OK, we click in the viewport to choose the C plane, the C plane is basically represented by this grid that you can see, and it's a plane where all uh, it works as a reference, yeah? So we just click in here, and we see that we have our uh, our own uh, spiral staircase. Now, as I told you, a, there is a little bit of a trial and error, uh, they're a little bit too distant, I'm gonna undo this, right click, select the base point and say maybe 35 uh, OK, click in here still a little bit too far away but we don't even want these uh, steps to be too low, yeah? so let me just undo this we'll do it again we'll say OK maybe also 40 OK click on the view and there it is. Here we have our staircase. Now what we should do, we should make sure that these um, elements here, they match with these ones. Uh, one way to do this is to define a center point for this helix. So let's look for the uh, quad point of this helix. There it is and then we know that it's four, me uh, 4 meters of diameter so we can just click in 2 there it is, we have the center and then we can say rotate edge we have it here and we can select all the back edges of this uh, stair it's a, a little bit time consuming but that's how you guys are supposed to do it Ta -ta 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 -ta. Yeah, sometimes in these things it takes a little bit of time, but you know, afterward it's totally worth it. There it is. So, just go and click on the end snap and we rotate it. Now, to rotate it, it's better to do that in the top view so that we have an understanding of what's going on. What we want basically, we want these edges to match. And 
there it is. Here matches perfectly. Okay, so we see we have our own array. All the steps are here. Now, what I will suggest to do to make it perfect and look very nice, I would trim it. And to do that, we're just gonna select a circle and say, okay, the circle has to be four meters. We select it and we say extrude with the select caps and we say both sides. And now we're just gonna, oops, say trim. Actually, we, we could actually say select everything apart from the circle and apart from the curves and say split. Select this as a splitting object and then we can just delete this, select all the, the elements on the side Whoops, be careful when you do that. And there it is. You have your perfect spire staircase. Now you should do the same thing, you know, uh, just select the entire thing and go trim and just go, you know, and trim all these little elements here so that the stair looks really neat, yeah? It takes a little bit of time, but at the end you're gonna have a very nice staircase. Uh, so I'm gonna finish this uh, by myself. You can uh, give it a go with your own uh, uh, project, and we'll see each other in the next video, okay? Thank you.